Okay, today I'm going to show you something that's really fun and it has to do with math. And I know those two things usually don't go together, but you'll see that dealing with the shortcut is going to make your life a lot easier. Now, what am I speaking about specifically with math is percents and fractions and how to move in between the two or simply just percents and percents of a number and how to do it really quickly. So maybe you've even seen some of the videos that I've done or that are about to be released for the official guide, but sometimes I go through these percent problems really quickly that almost looks like magic. And maybe you're intimidated and that's fine because today I'm going to show you a little bit of that magic. So let's, let's take a look. Okay, today we're going to be dealing with a fun topic. It's mental math shortcuts. And I know that there's a calculator on the new GRENO, but sometimes these shortcuts can really help you save a lot of time. So what we're going to be dealing with specifically, fractions and percentages. And this is so important, having an idea of how these two operate together and how one becomes the other, because it's tested all the time on the new GRE. Even in data interpretation, when you're looking at those bar graphs, you're going to be relying on this, what we call conversion between these two all the time. So what we're going to work, focus on today is the conversion from fractions to percentages. So we're going to start off really easy, one half. So I assume this is, again, very, very basic that everybody knows that this is 50%. Now, if we're going to take half of this, we're going to make this even smaller. We're going to, this is going to become one-fourth, so one-half to one-fourth. So if I take a half of a half to get to one-fourth, I take half of 50%. Therefore, that's 25%. Now, you, of course, may have known that one-fourth equals 25%, but this idea of taking half becomes very helpful when we, when we get to one-eighth, because one-eighth is a little more scary, so a little scarier. So... Well, what's going on here is we halved 50 to get to 25. Now with 1 8th, we half 1 4th. And of course, 1 4th equals 25%. So 25%, half of that is 12.5%. And so just like that, we can already get the conversion of 1 8th. Now, how else can this help us? Well, imagine you saw 3 8 What would this be? Well, the difference between 1 8th and 3 8 is notice I'm multiplying the numerator by 3 to get from 1 8 to 3 8. So if we know that 1 8 is 12.5%, I can just simply multiply that by 3. And that gives me, well, what's 12 times 3? 36. Left with 0.5 or half. What's 3 halves? Well, 3 halves is 1.5. And just like that, we now know that this is 37.5%, that 3 8 is equal to. So you can use this with other denominators. It doesn't necessarily have to be 2, 4, and 8. It can also be 1 3rd, 1 6. Let's take a look here. Here's 1 3rd. One third is equal to 33.33%. We'll call it 33.3%. This is something, again, that's very fundamental, just like one half. You have to know this. Well, what if I ask what is one sixth? Well, one sixth is half of one third. So half of 33.3 .3 is roughly 16.6%. .6%. And again, you don't always have to be exact. This is the GRE, and they are fine with approximations, something we're going to talk about in a minute. But let's look at one sixth. So one sixth is 16.6%. .6 what would five sixths equal? Again, this can look daunting, but do not be afraid. Think of it this way. 5 6 is the same as 6 over 6, which is 1, minus 1 6 equals 5 6. So if we know that 1 in terms of percents is always 100%, then we know that 6, six minus 1 6 is going to be the same as 100% minus what's 1 6? 16.6%. .6%. And just like that, that's going to give us 5 6 in terms of percent. And you can see that. This is going to equal 83.333%. But you don't have to worry about all those threes. Simply 83% is cl close enough. And there's how we can move from what we know to what we don't know to what we don't know at all by using, of course, the fundamentals. Now, I'm actually going to show you something very interesting. I'm going to actually going to clear the screen just like magic because I'm now going to show you some math magic. Okay, let's say we have two nights. And so now we're not dealing with such a wonderful fraction, and we want to convert this into a percent. There's a few ways to do this. One is to say, okay, I'm going to say 2 ninths equals x over 100. And then I'm going to solve for x. Now, this is something we've been taught in grade school forever. And some people almost do this automatically, but this is not the best way. This takes a lot of time. There's a couple ways of doing this. One is, well, to get to 2 ninths to 100, what am I multiplying here by 9? Well, I'm multiplying it by 11 and change. And again, whenever there's a little bit left over, we don't worry about it on the GRE because we're approximating. So if we multiply 
the 9 down here by 11 to get 100, then we multiply the 2 on the top by 11, and that gives us 22. So roughly, 2 ninths is equal to 22%. Now, we can also solve this another quick way, maybe going back to what we did a second ago. 2 ninths is the same as 1 ninth times 2. What is 1 over 9? Well, if you know 1 ninth is very close to 10%, you can see that, or rather 1 tenth, 1 tenth, which is 10%, is very close to 1 ninth. You can see that, okay, well, 10% times the 2 here is going to give me 20%. And because 1 ninth here is a little bit bigger than 1 tenth, you're going to get over 20%. Or you can simply see, ah, 1 ninth is about 11%. And then you can double that, and you can get 22%. So again, it's knowing what this is equal to and then multiplying it times the 2, or inferring from here that if I multiply times 11 on top, I multiply times 11, or on the bottom, I multiply times 11 on the top. So let's bring it down here and let's try another one that's very similar. 4 ninths. Well, again, multiply, what does this equal in terms of percent? Well, multiply the bottom times 11, multiply therefore the top by 11, and this equals roughly 44%. Okay. So now I'm going to switch it up just a little bit, and I'm going to say 2 elevenths. So what have I done? Well, let's try the same thing again. Remember how I said not to solve it like this, but again, what is 11 times, what number times 11 gives me 100? Well, 9 and a little bit of change. And so again, we're not solving. We're not actually using this equation. I'm just setting it up to show you conceptually how to think. Therefore, 2 times 9 gives me roughly 18% which is much faster than doing this cross multiplication and trying to solve for it. Okay, so this is, again, very helpful information. And again, you could have also said, well, 2 elevenths is the same as 1 eleventh times 2. 1 eleventh is equal to 9%. And the way I know this, 9 times 11 is 99%. And again, it's not exactly equal to 9%. It's almost 9%. And 9% times 2 gives me 18%. So being able to work in between fractions like this and decimals or rather percents going back and forth between fractions percents is something that can be very helpful and of course vice versa but for today we focused on fractions to percentages and shortcuts and I hope this helps this is going to help you out now actually I know this is going to help you out on the revised GRE